I have a story to tell. A story of pain, of loss, of gain, of cost. The story of trauma, the drama of birth and new birth, lost and found self-worth. Before Emmett Till, there was Nate Allen, my grandfather. His body found face down, floating in the Sampit River, at the hands of a racist pulling a rifle's trigger. In this story, I gave racism a name. I call him Cain, since he rendered my grandfather unable to speak the truth about what happened on that river in the Low Country, home of the Gullah-speaking Geechees that raised me. But the voice of his blood cries out from the earth. And the question is, who's listening? This is a story about my father. A son left to nascent memories of his father leaving for work as he retraces daddy's footsteps to the front door. Decades pass and he's left unconsciously chasing his father's ghost in search of himself. Vague memories, imagination, and painful reality all in dialogue with each other in his mind. A family's trauma experienced one generation at a time. The drama of a social hex that hovers over blackness. This is our collective dilemma. The comfort of amnesia. Wanting to forget but needing to remember. Hoping pain would take the initiative and just go away. But you can't ignore open wounds. They become the source of tomorrow's bitterness and rage. The next generation's disdain that many won't understand. These are the wounds that many write about, that the blues sang about, that hip hop rhymes about, that makes prophets and psalmists cry aloud at that which has been allowed to cause injuries and perpetuate tendencies that pull the scabs without intentions of cleansing the wounds at all. Open wounds require lament, where we can sit at the table and grieve with each other in no rush to skip past the crucifixion of black bodies in order to celebrate the premature resurrection of a post-racial America. But this is my story, a story of redemption, to redeem my grandfather's honor, to bring life to the spaces that were once defined by death. The rhetoric and the poetics of redemption are what this story tells. Narrated by a black man, formed by tragedy and victory, rather than torn by them. To embrace the unwritten chapters of his story, to be reborn by them. A son protected by the prayers of a father searching for a father. In this story, healing is inevitable. For a son, a father, a family, a nation.